All right, so today I am I'm going to be recording a or I'm going to be uh stream recording a set so that way we have something to get out of this tournament. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit glitchy because reasons not great computer. <laughs> but still, uh hopefully you can enjoy it. All right, so I just got a SD three times, and I'm going to leave all this in for fun. Now, normally I would be a douche and jab jab at everyone, but this is a tournament, and we can't do things that affect results. All right, so we are getting into game one. Now, this is actually in the loser's bracket, meaning that the loser of this set is out of the tournament. I'm pretty sure at ninth, which is not where you want to be. No one wants to miss top eight, especially when main man actually made top eight, even though... So, that's interesting. But the winner of this set will go on to fight h -Kun. But, um, ooh, Bryson can't even seem to actually get a hit in. Which is very important when you're playing platform fighters. Ooh, that nice little combo. Ooh, gets all that damage. Makes a lot of it back. Makes a lot of the percent back. But putting him in a good spot to actually take the rest of the game. The momentum is now completely shifted into Bryson's hands. And he just has to find his way to just take it back from him. Now, Tona seem, really struggles with those kills. You have to really know the confirms to actually get them in. Uh, I don't, Gabe hasn't played Tona much. I don't know his Tona, but that forward smash, that just just whipping that forward smash, that's sometimes all you need. And Gabe re heals some health from it, too. Ooh. While uh, Bryson was whipping a Nair. <laughs> there, Gabe getting that a damage, but uh, or not getting much damage. There we go, getting it down here, but doesn't convert off of it. Tona does have great dare chains, but... But they don't really mean much if you don't know how to do them. And it seems like Gabe doesn't really know much about them. Ooh, doing an unsafe side B recovery. But uh, Brayson doesn't punish it because he's playing Thor, who really can't deal with those. Gabe hasn't really been able to make much off of this massive lead, though. Off of the massive lead he had very shortly ago. Go, and therefore he's... And because all the momentum is in Bryson's favor. Momentum is such an important part of platform fighters, and... If you can't get it back in your favor, you're screwed. <laughs> oh, that nice fair doesn't get anything off of it, though, which is fairly upsetting. He's only really been getting stray hits. Ooh, that nice nair dare up tilt. Getting a nice bit of percent. And probably not what game needed, but definitely something. And that's always important. Something is better than nothing. And, wow, mid he's at not that high of a percent. Or Bryson's at a super... Or, a level percent. Oh, and that accident. Oh, but he got actually a bit of health off of it. Probably not going to matter because he's at 174, but still, the disrespect. <laughs> it was a clear accident, but it was disrespectful. And now Brightson just can't seem to get anything in that down air. Takes stock to Gabe up two stocks, but at 174. This is a very bad spot to be in for Gabe, actually. Actually, depending on how well Brightson can take the from the momentum if he can take this first stock, but he's clearly struggling. Hasn't really got any good kill moves. On him and all, on him just gave maneuvering around him perfectly. I don't know what that choice was, but Bryson just loving those up and the final eight kills at 204, <laughs> which is crazy. It's nuts, honestly. <laughs> Ooh, that nice down air. Yes, Bryson at 70%. I think Bryson's just completely like in a bad spot right now. Out because if he got that kill at a low percent, the momentum would be in his favor. But Gabe got a good enough on a percent on him, and now Bryson just has so much to gain back. It's not impossible, but it's really not probable. Ooh, that Nair not getting anything off of it, but it's something. Ooh, that he booster slide didn't get, which didn't get him punished, but it's funny to see happen. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Ooh, goes for a side B. I don't know what his reasoning behind that side B was. I guess he thought. Bryson was going to try and run away. Now the game has been going very evenly. So it just seems like Bryson has a lot of struggle killing. Ooh, doesn't get the up. He doesn't kill as he didn't get him off stage. And that up there, up there, doesn't kill barely. And that down B landing on Bryson, just racking up all that damage. Ooh, that forward smash. And Bryson could have punished with a forward smash of his own, but I guess he was too scared. Which, to be fair, when you're down a stock in losers, you kind of have to make those safe plays. But, at the same time, you have to go for some Hail Marys, you know what I mean? Like, at least Nair up be something more than a grab. You know? But, I mean, hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm sure Gabe isn't complaining, and honestly, this game is this game is going to very high percent on all stocks. The only stock that didn't go to high percent was Bryson's second one, but all three of them, but the other one went into at least 140, I think. And, 
Ooh, that nair doesn't take it, but gets him across the stage. Goes for that up B, and SP's unfortunate, but he was probably going to die soon anyways. He was... Gabe's going to be thinking about that one. <laughs> if Gabe loses because he SD'd, that would be funny. And that dash attack takes game one. Ooh. And is Gabe going to rematch that? Oh, looks like Gabe didn't want to rematch that one. I guess Gabe clicked continue. I thought everyone was all fine and dandy. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, nope. So, me and Bryson are in the room, and I'm going to do a Yeetus Deletus. So, leave the room. And now... Oh, that was a lot closer than I needed to be because of that silly Billy SD. <laughs> Alright, so now they're going to be seeing the counterpicks for game 2. Now, the counterpicks are basically every stage, and Fjord has been banned from this tournament, by the way. Alright, this was, that was a very entertaining game one, and I have to try and be entertaining for game two. Alright. Oh, he's asking if he gets one or two. One. I'm pretty sure he gets one. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know where I got, I would have... Okay, I guess we're going to Bamboo Game 2, because, uh, Discord said, so let's see. Alright. Hello? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of, uh... <laughs> So, um, to main men, actually, uh, made a room on bamboo. So, that's interesting. Alright, and Bryson said he'd make, alright, now I, no! God dang it. Darn it. Alright, so, oh, um, that's a glitch that shouldn't honestly exist, but, uh, hopefully we'll be getting into game two sometime soon, right? It's a glitch. Alright, so. <laughs> this one guy is just trying to join everyone's room. All right, so, uh, um, all right, I will make it, I'll just make it through. All right, now. Uh, we are going to be getting into game number two of this set. Uh, oh, wait, it wasn't on bamboo. Oh, fuck, it wasn't bamboo. Um.
Alright, so... <laughs> this has been, like, the longest interval in between matches. Alright, and I'm putting this forth thought so that way in case someone else joins, I can just kick them out as they join. Big boy. Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> this is taking forever. <laughs> and, and then I have to fight Kochi after this. Alright, well, uh, there we go, finally, I'm Bamb of the Boo variety, and now we're getting into game two after six minutes, I'm gonna timestamp the games in, like, the comments or something, alright, <laughs> or, like, put it in the title, because it's funnier, alright, so now we have Doggo versus Buffy Man versus Ad. Versus Aztec. Ooh, man, I'm just not doing very good this match. Ooh. All right, and now we're getting into game two. Please, please don't make me have to do it again. So I'm really rooting for Gabe. But uh, honestly, I don't care who wins because I get more content out of it. <laughs> you know, more stream sets, and that's what people want to watch. <laughs> but uh, you guys actually get to hear commentary, which is fun. Anyway, so oh no, poor Gabe. Oh, that's sad. And now he has so much ground to make up. I mean, he won last game with one SD, but that's sad. You don't want to see that happen. You know? Oh, no! Two! Oh, man. And 46%. I think this is a Bryson game, not gonna lie. No! Oh. This has been the worst game ever recorded in Rumble Arena history. <laughs> okay, we're going to game three. <laughs> that was the worst game ever. You know what? It's fine, it's fun. They're having their- they're trying their best, you know? Man, I think I spent more time as being. That was sad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he needs that. And in this corner, we have Bryson. Getting a dog up his ass. Alright, anyway, so we're going into game two. And, uh, honestly, I just don't know what to expect after that last one. I think, um, Gabe went Tona because he can camp him out. Ooh, nice read from Gabe. That was a nice read, getting that a little bit of damage. Ooh, trying to get another nice read in, but, uh, losing, or nearly losing the lead because of it. It's not like he had much of a lead, but still, early game lead counts. I don't know. Actually, no, fuck it. Uh, next set, next stream set, I'm gonna turn off, uh, things. Anyway, so... <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm hoping to get a uh, set between Kochi and Void in Grands, or uh, Losers. Or in uh, Losers Finals, preferably Losers Finals, so that way it could be in Grands, but still. Anyway, so... <laughs> uh, what's happening on screen is fairly interesting. Uh, it's Gabe versus Bright. Like, Gabe versus Bryson's go gone very interesting. I thought Gabe would go with Sparta, which is honestly a better matchup. <laughs> If you, uh, if you're better with Sparta, I would recommend the Sparta pick, and now, uh, Gabe's down a stock. He could end up getting ninth because he, uh, fl flabbergasted that game, too. <laughs> that was such an upsetting game to watch by Gabe. Ooh, and a nice double up air from Bryson. That's gonna be a bad spot to be in. Ooh, and... <laughs> uh, still, though, got a nice bit of percentage on Gabe, and now we're getting... He was trying to rush him with a nair, but it didn't go so well, didn't get any damage, but at least he didn't get punished for it because, well, doesn't really have much lag. <laughs> Can't punish a lagless move, you know? 
Ooh, misses the Nair, which I honestly don't think Gabe knows how to do Nair chains, but it wouldn't have helped to try. <laughs> also, I will not be recording sets I'm playing in, because that will cause lag for me. But, um, ooh, nice. Bryson's really running away with this game right now, and Gabe hasn't really done anything to contest it. Getting up aired, ooh, that was a nice, and whiffs a fair, just hoping it would hit it Gabe, and it did. That down air missed. And uh, now it's like it's just not looking very Gabe-centered match, which game one was very good for Gabe because he didn't get punished a lot for his things, and he doesn't have the same space on Bamboo. And honestly, oh, that's, what the hell is uh, is going on in Bryson's brain? I think he panicked. <laughs> he was like, what? <laughs> Gets the side B kill. Okay, we're going in into the rest of this game too, and I think a game might be out at ninth. <laughs> oh, why did you, you could have up there and killed there. No, Gabe. Come on, broski, broski do. Come on, you could have done something there. And now you're dying. You're dying, help, and you're dead. Oh, wow. Bryson misses the punish, but um, still that down B up air, or down air up air, not gonna kill. Could have dash attack there, but I can understand when you're losing it in fear of getting ninth. Like, yeah. Oh, a nice down air, though. Gabe could still make this back. Oh, and that's an easy... Man, Bryson, how do you play Thor? <laughs> Why do you play Thor? <laughs> well, that's a GG, no reese. Sad to see it go down that way, but, uh... Alright, that was a sad ending to such a nice set. Gabe had such a good chance of actually doing well. <laughs> Alright, well, that was a nice set to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it.